All right. Can you tell? We're continuing from where we left off, guys. Can you tell? Can you tell? Let me grab for you today's squeeze. We've got this guy. Let's put him down. I have many of these, but I've picked this one. I picked this one for myself. So, hello, everybody. Glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen. Welcome to today's report. This is sort of a continuation from the previous report, but you don't have to watch them together. You can just watch this one if you want. And a quick reminder, in these videos, I talk about anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. You can ask me anything, guys, when I put up the the little, I don't know, question boxes on my stories on Instagram and I say, give me a topic. You can give me any topic you want. It doesn't have to be plants. So I'd like to take this opportunity to remind everyone that watches these videos that there may not be that much plant stuff in it. There might be. There might be. There was in the last one, but there might not be. And that's the nature of it. If you want plant content, you can watch literally any other video. Please be reminded that there is a person attached to this account. My channel is called Kayleigh Allen for a reason. And we like to talk about everything here because plants are just one thing in our lives. Okay, and it's important to remember that. It's important to remember that. If you want just plant content, go look at pictures on Instagram. I don't know. I don't know what to, t don't know what to tell you. So anyway, today we are repotting this guy. I have more than one of these, but I've chosen this guy. I don't know if I've made the right choice at all. I've got so many of them. Let me just check. I want to make sure I've got the, the one I want. It's weird. It's like you're on personal shopping. Uh, oh, he's too big. I can't take him. He's way too big. Has he been cut as well? Oh no, I've got a really big one here. Oh guys, no, this isn't supposed to happen. I've just found him. I've just found him. <laughs> oh, um, ooh, look, no look, no look, no look. <sighs> now I don't know what to do. Hang on. That's the new one. Oh shit, man. Oh, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm going to do this one. I'm, I'm going to stick with my original suggestion. It's really hard sometimes in this shop, guys. I know what a like shit problem to have. Which variegated gloriosum do I want? I get that. I do get that, guys. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Right, so today we have some topics for you to talk about. And I did briefly go over them in the last video. And I will tackle them in no particular order. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out. I'm going to address what's in here because I'm not sure if there's going to be any rot. There might be. They've had a bit of a tough ride over summer, I won't lie. We've got some damage. Well, that's ancient now, so I'll probably cut that off. But we will check them. But just before that, I will do a quick thumbnail because I've forgotten. Right, let me just put this out. Oh, you know what? It's looking all right, that. But we will check it nonetheless. So let me just get myself comfy. Again, I've kept my hair down. I hope that I don't get too much shit in it because I've just washed it yesterday. And honestly, when you've got extensions in, which by the way, that is what has occurred. I haven't just grown my hair overnight. You really got to pick and choose when you wash your hair. So I'm washing it like twice a week, sometimes once a week. I'll freely tell you. Um, dry shampoo is your friend, ladies. Dry shampoo is your friend. So um, I've just realized I've left someone in red from the last video and it's a bit rude. So give me one moment and I'm totally going to cut this. Oh, somehow guys, we've got plastic in this. I do hope you get to see what's going on here. I know we're not like super zoomed in, but what can you do? I also hope I'm not blown out because the sun's just come out. Eh, it, it looks okay. Apologies if it is blown out. I can't keep adjusting it. So we do actually have some rot. So I'm going to pick through that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it closer to you. About there, maybe. Um, the dark stuff, I believe, is rot, so we don't have a huge root system. But hopefully he's going to go in here and be okay. So we're going to pick through that while I go through my questions. Oh, actually, before we go through the questions, really quickly, I want to tell you about a class this week that I found on none other than Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an ad-free online learning platform where you can pick up information on literally anything. How to do something, how to organize your workflow, get better at a skill, or take part in a new hobby that you're working on. It's a really, really cool website. There's so many topics on there, guys. There is literally an endless amount of classes, so you're probably going to find anything you want on there. So what I found this week is a really cool class online by Tiffany Egbert on how to create your own macrame plant hanger. I found this class really useful because it can save you so much money on ways to hang your favorite houseplants because I know we're all full up on space right now. She takes you through everything from the materials you need, different effects like creating a spiral effect, really cool, how to tie it all off securely so nothing falls down, and she shows you this all in good close-ups so you can really, really follow along and pause the video if you need. The whole video is just 13 minutes long, so you can get going with it really, really quickly and never have to pay for macrame ever again. 
in 13 minutes. What more do you want? If you're interested in classes like these or any other type of classes you can probably think of, then if you'd like to click the link in my description, you can try out Skillshare for free. The first 500 people that click that link will get Skillshare for free for one month. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now we're actually going to plant the plant. So, I'm going to pick off this. I've just closed my phone down and I need it. I need it for the subject matter, guys. Right, supplements. I think I was asked specifically for supplements that deal with transplant shock. I don't know if you mean shipping, repotting, stuff like that. So it's going to sound like a shameless plug. I guess it is. But genuinely, guys, I created a product to help with that. And if you have been living under a rock, then you won't know that it's nurture system number one. So this has in it everything that your aroid needs to thrive, including separate vitamins and minerals that help with transplant shock. And again, recently I posted on my Instagram, I think it's a story, but I will have probably made it a permanent post by now, of a beautiful Anthurium bessii af that I literally repot it, I put it in some pond, I watered it two, three times max, and it the new leaf it gave me was absolutely, it surprised me, all right? I still haven't got over it. Really, really good. Not only that, guys, and we will get onto this in a little bit more detail, but I have a new product coming within probably the next month that deals with things like new cuttings, transplant shock, general rehabilitation in a more specific way than what this does. This has some stuff inbuilt, so it's your day-to-day go-to all-in-one, but I actually have a product coming out that deals with this very specifically. No, it's got nothing to do with the fungus, by the way. It is a brand new product, so I can't tell you about it just yet, but it is coming and it's going to be awesome. And it's, oh my God, it's so good. I've got so many cuttings just sat in it down there. And I tell you now, I have a Monstera Burley Marks Flame and it's rooted so fast and that thing doesn't root, doesn't grow. But the roots coming out of it, I've had to repot it twice because the roots are just going along the bottom of the tray and it's really irritating. So I've had to put them back in and repot them. So that's coming soon. So you're asking me what I use, shameless plug, it is my own products, but that's because they work so well, I created them <laughs> over, well, obviously I created them with a chemist, but years of experience doing this as a job, so. Anyway, moving on, because that was kind of a small question. Oh, it does take us quite nicely on to a nurture system update. So, oh my goodness, the amount of people, I need to pick some raw off this plant or we're never gonna get anywhere. The amount of people that have been asking me for updates uh, is, it's insane. Uh, I get it, I get it. And it's probably because the, the positive reviews are all over the place for this product. I've yet to find someone that says it's shit. And I'm saying that to a lot of people on camera. No one's proven me wrong yet. So a lot of people have been asking me for updates, whether it's like on a YouTube comment, on an Instagram comment, on a story reply, on Facebook, like literally anywhere. And they've been asking me for updates. So we have two uh, veins of update. So one is US and the other one is the EU. So let's tackle the EU. First off, um, all any new product I bring out, because there, there's actually, I've got numbers one, pretty much all the way through to eight, minus number six, um, that are coming very, very soon, very soon. I'm actually picking them up uh, the day after tomorrow from the, the production facility where they're being produced. So all the, the products initially are going to be in the UK, um, all on Amazon UK, I think, but others, stuff like the feed is, is still only available on UK Amazon, but I have had, and I invite anybody to do this if they would like to, if you are a company that wants to wholesale this stuff, that is something we can arrange to the EU, okay? We have had at least two individuals, we will say, come to me and say, I would like to sell this in the EU. I will import this. Here's all the relevant information. Give me your relevant information. Send me some over. I will handle the import and everything, and I will distribute to the EU. We've had somebody say that to us, and we're going ahead with it, guys. So I think there's a, the first shipment, I'm not going into any detail, obviously, first shipment is a little bit smaller. And I assume that that's going to be distributed throughout the EU. So it means, guys, if you're in the EU, you will be able to get Nurture System. And that is up to the suppliers to whether they want other products. That's not being spoke about yet, probably because they don't know that other products are coming. That's fair enough. If that supplier wishes to do so, they can do that. If you are a company that wants to wholesale 
the fertilizer, you are able to do that. The issues we've been having with the EU is that we can't personally send it, but if you are resident over there, we can supply you it wholesale and you can sell it. So if you have a company um, capable of that and you are interested in that, please reach out, please reach out because we're more than happy to supply you. Um, so we are doing that. We're in the process of talks of doing that already. So I guess my update for you, if you're in the EU, is that at some point within the next three months, I would like to hazard a guess, you can start having Nurture System in the EU. It won't be through Amazon, it won't be through me directly, but it is my product and it will be distributed. Once that is set up, uh, I'll speak with the, the company involved and I will probably, I will link it on my socials. Like you'll find it in the description of my videos and stuff like that. So you'll always know where to get it. Just don't be confused if it's not on Amazon. In complete transparency, Amazon are just a nightmare. They're just a nightmare, guys. Um, they do not make it easy to ship things in other countries. They only make it easy, really, if, how do I put it, if, if it's not like a hazardous liquid or something like that. They've got very, very strict rules and it's, obviously, our feed is a hazardous liquid, so we can't, Amazon don't want to play that shit, basically. And that is one of the reasons, obviously, why we can't necessarily get it to the US. Now, as far as the US is involved, we are working on that as always. Obviously, guys, it is a new brand. The cost of getting it to the US is, is a lot. We do have some products that we can release to the US. Uh, I probably held it up in the last video, but I will do it again. This is Nurture System number eight. This is Nurture Pond. This is my pond. It's not out yet, but we're working on getting this to the US, for example. Problem is they charge by weight and the price to set this to the US in batch so you can start receiving it in the US from your local Amazon depot is fucking crazy, okay? We're trying to come up with a way around it. Ideally, what I would love is a US company gets in touch and says, hey, we would like to supply your feed in the US. Can you do it? And we can work with them. They can be the sole, you know, like importer of it. And then they can release it throughout the US. That looks like it's going to have to be the way that we go, guys. Because I don't think my fertilizer can ever be on Amazon in the US. I don't think it's doable. Amazon works for us in the UK, sure. Um, it's very, very quick. You get your product far faster than ordering it from here because here we're just absolutely backlogged, um, which is a known fact, really. So what we really want is for someone in the US to get in touch. So again, if you think you're that company, get in touch. We'll make it happen. I'm sure, I'm sure we can work together to get that done. Otherwise, we would have to set up our own distribution center in the US, which, guys, so much money, so much money. It's not money that, that I have or Ben has because we're in it together sort of thing. So that is the T. That is the T on that. New products are coming. You will get a launch video on it, by the way. And you should get some shit in, in the EU very soon. Again, um, it's up to the individual suppliers in question as to whether they want to stock other products or just the feed. That That's not up to us. That's up to them. No doubt they might want to see how the other products do and then do that. That's fine. But we have been approached for the fertilizer, which is absolutely fantastic. So again, for the third time, I know I'm repeating myself. If you think that's you, get in touch. I don't mean like an individual, by the way, selling it out of their bedroom. I mean like a full-on company that will be importing this in bulk and selling it wholesale. That is that is what we're talking about. So I think I've picked off give it a little shake. You know, I love to shake the roots off. We've got rid of most of the problem. There's not a ton, actually. It looked way worse than what it was. There are some dud ends on here, but it's okay. I want to get that out of the way, though. Ugh, that is so gross. Hang on, guys. i gather this up. Then I'm going to have to check how long we've been recording for, because it's, it's not ideal, you know? I'm actually going to be gross. I'm going to put that on the floor. Because who has to clean it up, guys? Me. It's what it is. Right. Oh, God. Right. Let's do that. So yeah, that's my very, very positive nurture system update. We don't think US, don't think we've forgotten about you. We really haven't. We talk, me and Ben talk about it every single fucking day on how to get it there. And it's just the money, the money is huge. So it is something we're always going to work towards. Rest assured, like you've got my absolute word. We're always going to work towards it. But this shit is really hard. I like People keep thinking I'm like this big company with like millions of pounds. It could not be further from the truth. Y you'd be shocked. You'd be shocked about how I actually live my life at home. And people that really know me know that, but obviously you guys won't. So anyway, by the by, next topic. One moment. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Ooh, some old root here. Who knows what this is off? I love that for me. So we're going to pop them into here. And we're going to pop them in with some of my pawn. So... What we got? Someone's leaving me a YouTube comment as we speak. Okay. We've got two topics and only one plant that's in a state where it's ready to go into a pot. Don't know what to do about that. I'll save one topic for the next video, but not the next next video, video after that, I think. So, okay. <laughs> Somebody asked me, 
about it wasn't this is like part of the question but i've written down like a summary and i don't know if it was like was it drama with other plant youtubers or plant youtubers you don't like or something like that like plant youtubers on your block list it, there's a there's a couple that sort of pertained to that one moment i'll just scoop out some pawn again you will get a full video on this it's very much the same components as pawn. It's just, it's a little bit of a coarser grade. Not super coarse, but it's it's a little bit better than normal pawn. Normal pawn, I find a bit to be a bit fine, you know? I'll put that in there. So, plant YouTubers on my block list. Should I actually just have a look now? Should I actually just have a look? How do I find my block list on Instagram, guys? Let's have a little look, shall we? Account privacy, that's not going to be it. No, that's not it, that's not it. Uh, oh no, blocked there. I have 67 people on my block list. Just to give you the full tea. Right, it's not all going to be YouTubers. Obviously, some of you are just assholes. Not you, but people in the past. Mm. Oh, there's an X on there. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know I blocked him. That's funny. Deserves to be blocked. Ooh, okay. You know what, guys? Oh, there's one YouTuber. Uh, there should be more than one YouTuber on my block list. There maybe is. Oh, uh, there's a couple. All right, there's a couple. <laughs> there's a couple. So, generally speaking, guys, I don't tend to fall out with people. I am a little bit, I don't want to say I'm a lone wolf, but I, I have tended to be in the past. I'm trying to change that now because I think the climate we're in now is a bit different, but I've been burnt a little bit by a creators here and there, okay? Not mentioning anybody in specific, so there's no point you trying to figure it out because it's not even pertaining to people on a block list. I'm just saying generally, okay? Um, over my time, and then I think eventually I just decided, hey, I'll just... I just keep myself to myself, apart from people I really trust. So I've made some new friends now, like for example, Jonathan, um, Beard of Plant Guy, I mentioned him, Beard of Plant Holic, sorry. I mentioned him in the last video. He's a good friend of mine now. Um, Pam, Pam's Pretty Plants. Love you, girl. Love you, girl. Um, people like that, like I trust and I tell them things, um, stuff like that. Plant Rescuer, good friend, love her as well. There's a few, there's a few of you, right, that I consider safe, trustworthy, whatever. But it hasn't always been like that. It hasn't always been like that. And I've had people pretend to be trustworthy and then just completely go behind my back um, with different things. Um, some people being really sly and, you know, I, I, again, I'm not being specific as such. I'm genuinely not even thinking of a specific person. I'll let you know if I am sort of thing. Oh, hang on. I have to pull this out. Oh, no. Hang on. I fucked this up. I fucked this up. Hang on. <laughs> I have to pour half of this out. I've let a root go over the top of the Mary stem to the point where it was going to be exposed and I don't want it to die off because it's very gay, gloriosum, you know what I mean? That's, that's silly. I should have uh, realised that was happening. So yeah, in the past, I've, you know, made friendships, ended friendships, stuff like that. Not necessarily bad blood now, but there's one or two people that might stay on a block list, you know. There's people that aren't blocked that you'd probably think would be blocked. There you go. There's some tea. Um, shit like that, really. Generally, I just surround myself with people that they don't have to be, you know, the most kindest whatever person in the world. They just have to be straightforward enough. Like, we're all imperfect people. It's not, it's not like that. Like, fuck me, I'm very imperfect. Do you know what I mean? You just have to keep it real. I just need a level of honesty from people that I'm around. I need someone to be able to say it how it is. It's why me and Pam clicked immediately, um, in my opinion anyway, because she's like me. You know, she just keeps it real. I like people like that. Jonathan's very much the same. Uh, very sweet dude. So it's it's when people aren't like that that I get a bit, mm, you know. Um, so there are, there are a couple of people on my block list. Hang on. Sorry, I have to now replace that pawn because I didn't before. Um, and it is what it is. And they're probably going to stay there because I have no reason to speak to them. And plus, we're not in a climate where everyone is talking to each other now. It is a bit more close-knit. But people that I have blocked in the past have been very snaky or uh, that, that thing that happened with... Uh, being accused of, I mean, I've been accused by by this person of so many things, but stuff like the, the and Sony, I meant bollocks and all that. Um, a lot of people came at me from that. A lot of people sided with that person. Um, there was a person, a YouTuber that I wouldn't say I was amazing friends with, but we'd spoken on and off over the years. Um, she, she, no, I'm not going to say where she's from actually, because there's not many people from there. She sided with them without any evidence, was posting like stories about me and stuff. Um, when I got accused of doing something else I didn't do, I just got a bit, a bit minging. So I just blocked them. I just thought, no, um, a few people, I, you know what it is? Quite a few people when, when that shit went down. Um, I don't even know why I'm avoiding saying his name. It's fucking pointless. Tony LeBritton, asshole. Sorry. Um, 
when he did all that shit, there's a few people that sided with him. And since then, a lot of them have come out and said, I'm really sorry, I completely sort of led to believe something else and blah, blah, blah. And a few of you will attest to this. Um, we've spoken since and all is fine because I'm not, I'm not, funny enough, I'm not a person to hold a grudge or anything. I'm actually really not. I'm quite good at getting past stuff like that. I do that in my, my regular life kind of thing. Um, so a lot of people are like, oh, I've been kind of misled here. It turns out this person to douche, that person to douche, didn't all this, didn't all that. You know, I'm sorry. And that's, that's life. That, that happens, guys. I'm sure you've been misled many a time in your life. I know I have. I've made some stupid decisions. Like, it's all good. Some people, however, don't change their tune, and I can't deal with it, and I don't want to deal with it. So it, it really does depend. It really does depend on who you are and what you've done. But as for all that shit, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, and none of this is, is trying to create tea or drama because there's literally no tea in it. There's no tea in it. It's nothing nobody doesn't know. Um, but there's probably a few people that you'd expect me to have blocked or something like that, I imagine, but they're actually not. Um, there's, there's not really a bad or a good reason. It's just uh, they, they weren't, they weren't block worthy, you know? Um, I'm not, I'm not like, um, I'm not a fiend for the block button or anything like that. I just, because in a way, in a way, this is, it, it is work. I know people, you know, can look at it as like, oh, it's my passion. It's my dream. Everything's yay. That's not life. Come on now. That's not life. In a lot of ways, this is work. So a lot of times I don't block people for work reasons um, and stuff like that. And I want to keep connections open with people and I want to, I want to have relationships with people that are actually realistic, you know? And if someone says something and pisses you off, you tell them, you get past it, you know? Um, so, uh, sorry, this is probably sounding really wishy-washy, but I just, I can't, obviously I can't go into too much detail, but yeah, there's there's very few people that I would not associate with. And I, I really mean it when I say very few. Um, I'll associate with people that have previously not liked me, called me out, said something, you know, it's not like that, because I think people can grow and change. And if, you know, we, we do videos on, plants that grow and change. So why are people any different? Not to get corny on your... So I'm very much a believer in that. I think there's a line. People like Tony, for example, permanently cross that line. No love lost, I'm sure, on both sides. Um, but some people are just nasty, nasty people. Fair enough. Um, but for, for most people, <laughs> that's not the case, you know? People like to think I'm super negative, but honestly, I'm actually really not. And if you knew me in real life, you'd be like, damn, okay. Um, I am a little bit different to what you probably think. And I haven't always been, I haven't always been. But you grow and you change, and that's the whole fucking point. That's the whole fucking point of it. So I do have stuff on my block list. Neil plants aren't on it. <laughs> If anyone's gonna ask, someone I think someone did. Uh, no, not like that. I don't. I don't block companies. I don't have any beef with companies or anything. Um, I don't really. I, honestly, I don't have any active beef with any YouTubers or anything. This is all very historic, and it's, it's fucking so long ago. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think anyone's bothering anybody at the minute. And if people stay in their own lanes, if they don't like each other, fine, let them. You know. So it is what it is, really. Now, I'm not very satisfied with this report. I'll tell you why. One, it is very wobbly. Two, this is where the newest leaf is and it's, it's grown in a way that it would make sense for it in the light, but it's not the right way around. So I'm debating very quickly going and getting some, what do you call it? You know, canes to put in to keep it steady. I'm just gonna have to face light on it this way and hope it turns around, basically. So it's not gonna be a super aesthetic repot, guys. But what can you do? What can you do? Let's have a look. Um, let's get this and I will just snap it and pop it in and just hope that it, it works well. So yeah, that's that really. Again, even to people that are on my block list, I don't, I'm not actively hating on anyone, I don't care. It's just, I guess I just didn't remove you from the block list really. But yeah, the rest of the people on my block list, I, I know for a fact they'll just be either raging racists, most of you that are on the list anyway, uh, homophobes, said some really bad, outwardly, like aggressively harassed me, something like that. Like you've really got to earn it to be honest on a block list. I don't just block any fucker, literally. Even the people that don't like me. I don't even think Tony's blocked. I think he's blocked me, but I don't even think Tony's blocked. There you go, there you fucking go. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot, it really takes a lot. So again, no love lost. So let me just snap this like that. This is gonna look very ugly guys, but it's literally functional. I hate doing this because I, I worry the same as all of you. I'm gonna drive it into the roots. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So why don't I put that there? Oh, this looks so shit. It's just gonna have to, it's gonna have to. There we go, like that. Yes. Love that for us. Love that for us. There we go. Lovely, lovely. We'll pop that in there. And as usual, it's going to get fed off camera because there's no weird reason, by the way. It's just, I don't use it out of this. I use it out of a really boring ass container and it goes in a big watering can and I probably water the things. So it's a big watering can. It's just boring. There's no other reason it's boring, um, but that's that anyway. 
So yeah, that probably ends up that topic. You did ask me about rainbow life and I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I should do it in this video. So I just wait a bit. So I guess um, if you want to submit more questions on rainbow life, uh, next time I open my Instagram, whatever's, you can. Or you can leave a comment, to be fair. That's fine as well. I, I do read them. It's just I appreciate sometimes people want to be a bit more anonymous than that. And then when they put the, the questions in those question boxes on my stories, it kind of keeps them anonymous because, you know, fine, well, I won't say who you are or anything. So even the people that are nasty. Still don't do it, still don't do it. So it goes back to what I was saying about the block list, right? Listen, I'll protect anybody as long as you're not being homophobic, racist, something, you know, of that nature. I'll protect anybody um, with any sort of criticism. So anyway, oh, that, was a, that was a hell of a rambly video. I apologize, guys. So he's reported, before we go, he's not looking amazing. He's looking quite shit. I meant to cut uh, this old leaf off and I haven't done so, but you know what? It's probably going to drop a leaf anyway, so it's fine. I planted him so that he's at the back of the pot here, the merry stem. He should grow forward a little bit and hopefully he will turn around and be cute because this is this is who he is. This is who he is. So we'll see how he goes. You'll not get an update on him for a while. I have him and I have another one that's just throwing out half moons. So we'll see, but he's going to get acclimated in here because I took a regular Gloriosum to my house and it didn't go so well. It didn't go so well. It it really took a dive, which is weird because all my bougie anthuriums didn't. Really weird. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Remember, the link for Skillshare is in my description and the first 500 people click it. I make nothing from that, by the way. First 500 people to click that get a free one month of Skillshare. So if you want it, if you want to try it, click on it. Off, off the cuff update merch, new merch coming real soon. I know I've teased it for a while. As well as, guys, I'm actually going to release some black and white versions of my old designs. So the Long Boys one, which by pure coincidence I do not have on today, that's going to be coming out in just a black and white sort of version if you don't like the colours. Same thing for the Mysterious Dark Boy. Same thing for the new merch. So it's coming. It won't be very long at all. I will have to check with Tropics Narcotics, who does my merch for me, by the way. Great merch. Um, I will check with them on how long that's going to be. I think we're in the final stages of it now. And I, oh, it's so sick. It's so sick. So me, but so sick. Anyway, that topic is going to get left for another video. Don't worry, we'll come back to it. Obviously, obviously. Um, and I'll leave you for this one, guys. Any links to anything you like in the description, my socials are on the screen right now. And have a great weekend, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.